Roblox has made one of the worst updates ever and the community is super mad. Roblox YouTubers could be in danger and so much more insane news and drama today. But before, most of you aren't subscribed and are trying to reach 4,000 subs by the end of the year. So please subscribe and let's get right into it. Okay, first you start with a pretty big change coming to Roblox. Roblox recently announced that they're going to be completely revamping the home screen. And we've seen them make some updates to the home screen before, where they add maybe like a new tab or they change something with the friends list. But this time they're doing a whole revamp. So Blox News put out a tweet kind of going over and explaining everything that they're going to change. And they're actually going to be removing and adding a lot of things. And we don't know officially what it will 100% look like, but from all the information Rolls gave us, you can get a pretty good idea of what it looks like, and this is it. As we can see right now, this is probably what it's going to look like. So they completely get rid of your friends tab and where it says like home, and it's just like the games you play enlarged and in like a rectangle format. And then it's just the same sections as before, which I can't even lie, it looks pretty clean. Like right now, I feel like the home screen has a bunch of just useless stuff. Like it doesn't really matter to see your friends or whatever. So this way kind of just simplifies everything and gets rid of the clutter. And it kind of gets right to the point. You can just log on to Roblox and all the games you've recently played and recommended are right there for you. So pretty decent and good update. But next, in typical Roblox fashion, we have a pretty stupid update coming up next. So this update is very random and out of nowhere. And in typical Rolls fashion, we have no idea why they did it, but they did it. And what they announced was that for some reason, they're removing the ability to highlight accessories on like your collections tab on your profile. So the items you own now, you can't add to your profile anymore and you can't show off all like your accessories that you want to. It'll just be like your newest ones, I think, or something, which is super weird and super random. And like I said, what was the need for this and what was the point of this? Like, I genuinely can't think of a reason why this would even be bad or like what was the reason to remove this? Because most people add like their favorite items to their profile or they add like the items that they always wear and stuff to show people. And it's a pretty harmless feature. I feel like there's no reason to remove it. I've also seen a lot of people saying that their profiles and stuff still are the same as before. And I'm pretty sure if you have stuff to your profile right now, it's gonna stay like that. But if you change anything or remove anything from a profile, you can't, you can't add it back now. So if you have items added to your collections tab, just keep them there because if you remove them i think they'll ruin everything but with that being said let's move back to another good update we're bouncing back between good and bad updates today and this update is the ability to switch accounts so if you have an alt account on roblox or just another account you use you probably know how annoying it is to log out of your main account log into your other account and then log back out of it and then just keep doing that over and over again and it gets worse when you have stuff like 2fa on because then you log out of your account, you have to do the 2FA, all the security checks again, and then log out of it, and then it's just like a whole mess and an annoying process. And it makes having like multiple accounts just more annoying to use. But luckily, with that being said, this whole annoying fee process, I guess, is going to be removed with this new feature. Rolls has began rolling out the ability to switch accounts. And not just like switch accounts how we do it normally. It'll kind of work how you switch accounts on like Twitter, hopefully, what it seems like. So it'll be in the settings in the top right, and you can just go from one account to another account. I don't know if you have to type in the password again or anything. I'm assuming you might have to. Or if it's like a new device you have to, I don't know how that works. And I'm also wondering how this works with like, is it linked to your account or is it linked to just like your device? Because if there's no password access and someone just hacks your account, do they have access to both accounts? I doubt that's how it works. I'm assuming if it's a new device, they ask for your password or something. Like there's no way it's that easy. So with that being said, I think this is a pretty good update and it kind of gets rid of all that annoying stuff before. And it makes having alt accounts or other accounts easier to use. But anyways, next we move to a pretty insane story going on. And a lot of Rolls YouTubers could be in huge trouble. So I'm sure everyone and their grandmas have heard over the last few months or whatever about Skibbity Toilet. I barely know what it is, but I've still heard about it. And it's like a big meme or trend going around. And you probably see multiple Rolls YouTubers and just YouTubers in general talk about it, make reaction content about it, make gameplay content around it or whatever. And well, recently, somebody actually said that they got a strike from the person who made Skibbity Toilet for using like their assets and stuff. And they claim it's because they use their character. And this person was like an animation uh, YouTuber. They're a pretty successful one. They have like 10 million subscribers, game tunes. And all their Skibbity Toilet videos got taken down because the person said that they used the Skibbity Toilet character. And what's crazy is that Skibbity Toilet is striking this person down. And strikes on YouTube are very dangerous because if you get three strikes, your channel gets deleted, like no second chances. So this person's channel with 10 million subscribers is at jeopardy right now because they got strikes from the person who made Skibbity Toilet. And I think you can see where I'm going with this because so much Roblox YouTubers have used the Skibbity Toilet character and asset in some way, whether they change it for a thumbnail or use it in a thumbnail or use it in an animation and even Roblox games like Pet Simulator X had like that weird toilet pet thing and just so much people have used this asset and a lot of people are tweeting YouTubers telling them that they could be in danger. Like we've seen Creecraft for example, Nightfox, Ibella, 
whatever like every Roblox youtuber uses in some way so potentially these youtubers could be in trouble but actually a nightfox responded to this saying we good no worries and then saying that he's close to the situation but here's the thing i assume youtubers like creecraft and nightfox and whatever are safe like the people who react to it maybe and i guess use it in their thumbnails but other channels like <laughs> lanky box for example who have literally ripped it and used it for their animations, I feel like they're in trouble too. Because if they strike down one animation of Skibbity Toilet, then other people who make Skibbity Toilet animations, like Lanky Box for example, could be in trouble. But based on what Nightfox said, apparently everybody like Creecraft and whatever who reacted to it and used it, I guess, in their thumbnails should be fine. It seems to be more of an issue if you use it in a video as like a character and stuff. So this whole situation is kind of confusing, but hopefully all the role YouTubers are fine. But like I said, Lanky Boss could be in trouble. And to be fair, if they get striked down, I don't think anyone would care. But with it all being said, this obviously caused a lot of drama in the community. Because even though the Skibidi Toilet meme or whatever is very loved by a lot of people, the actual assets, the person doesn't own them. Like, they're the ones who put them together and they form the two things together, I'm pretty sure. But the individual textures, they don't own. So many people are saying it's super unfair how they're striking people down for using it and, like, using it in their own way when he doesn't own them. Like, yeah, he popularized it, but he didn't make it. Or he doesn't own the assets. And this is pretty similar to the Pet Simulator X situation that happened a while ago. How they were striking people down for using cute pets, even though they don't own cute pets. But I mean, yeah, in general, some roles YouTubers could be in trouble. But I think the majority of them who just reacted to it and stuff should be fine. But at the same time, you never know. Because this whole situation is very weird in the first place. And also the fact that he was even able to strike it down in the first place is pretty crazy. Like the fact that YouTube let that through and stuff because he doesn't really own it in the first place. Nonetheless though, like I said, Nightfox said he's close to the situation. So hopefully YouTubers like Creecraft and stuff are fine. But we don't know 100% just yet. Okay, but with that being said, let's move to our last story, which is insane. Roblox just announced one of the worst updates they ever have in so long and it's got everybody upset. Okay, so there's a few layers to this and I recommend watching the end and I'm not even just saying that because every layer I break down is going to get worse and worse. Trust me, you're going to want to see this. So I'm sure all of us at some point or the majority of us at some point have played one of those games or played any game where you try on like random avatar items but all this is going to get ruined. And not just those type of games, but any games that use like the general concept of wearing items. You'll see what I mean. So firstly, Roblox announced that any game like that where it has items in it, there will now be a pop-up screen to buy the item. So you can't just have them there. As we can see in this example, this person is in a game where you try on items. And before they try on this jacket that they're testing, they get a pop-up asking if they want to buy it. And this is going to automatically happen with every single item in these games. Which is pretty bad, but to be fair, you can just say no and move on. But it gets way, way worse from here. Because the next thing Roblox said was possibly the worst thing they could have said. Because they announced that if an item is off sale, you can no longer use it in these games. So all the classic items, old items, and just other items people wanted to use that are off sale, you can no longer do that. But here's where it gets even worse than that. Because Roblox recently announced that they're going to basically make every item limited and every like UGC item limited. And well, how limited work is that once they run out of stock, they, they go off sale. So now most items are going to be off sale, which means that they're not going to be allowed to use in these games. So all these games like Catalog Heaven and whatever that you can try on items, it's completely gone and this entire concept of just like trying on items in games no matter what game uses it it's completely ruined now because you can't use items that are off sale which is eventually going to be majority of the items on the platform all right as i'm ending this something pretty insane happened the drama and like hate got so bad that rolls actually released a statement saying that they're not going forward with this update right now so the update will not be released and they're reversing it I'm assuming the update will be released later in some way, but it's not going to be as bad as it seems. Because this update was so bad and the hate got so bad that Roblox literally had to put out a statement saying we're not doing it anymore. Which is pretty crazy, but also pretty good for us. But if you enjoyed, check out this video where Rolls is fully broken right now. See you in the next one.